you know what you're listening to. Yeah, that's baby rhino crying. Every time you hear that sound, it, is, it, it, it goes through your soul. It goes, it's like a knife that goes through your heart to think there's another little baby without a mother. Sadly, the statistics don't count rhinos that survive, that might die, die later, and the orphans aren't count, counted either, they don't make it. So the statistics are much higher. It's probably about 20% higher than the actual numbers. The demand for rhino horn primarily comes from China and from Vietnam, where they think that they have medicinal value, etc. And so those are the countries that are asking for it and driving the demand for it. The horns are mostly ground into powders and it's believed to cure fevers. Some believe that it cures cancer. Even they will take rhino horn to cure a hangover. In Asia, most people have no idea how rhino horn is harvested. They believe it's a renewable resource like you would milk a cow. When you show them the pictures of how rhino horn is obtained, they are absolutely horrified. Many Vietnamese and Chinese believe protecting the rhino is not their problem to solve. That if people have money, they have the right to buy what they want. They believe the responsibility belongs to the South African government. We are not going to stop this as South Africans ourselves. We need the bigger powers in the world. I've been to 181 different carcasses over the last two, almost three years. Enough's enough. It's got to stop. Dear Heavenly Father, um, we pray to you today because we've seen this rhino has been killed. And please protect this baby and just change the minds of the um, poachers and just please help us stop him. So the rhino are crying out. And they're crying out to the people of the world for help. <laughs>